Hi, and welcome to class. Today, we're going to work into the neck. We're going to work into some mobility uh, and a bit of stretching. So if you have a bit of pain, if you have a bit of tightness, a little creakiness, maybe you didn't sleep so well and the pillow you know, got your neck to hurt, or you just have general pain in the neck, this should feel really, really good by the end of it. We're going to do some interesting ways to stretch, which you might not be familiar with. But at the end of the day, it's a wonderful feeling to use the breath to move, use the breath to bring awareness into new spaces uh, within the neck, the shoulders, and all those all the space that might be a little tight. So before we do anything, just take a moment, sit upright. You can even do the standing. Uh, if you want to do this on a chair, uh, on a bench, on the edge of your bed, you can do this anywhere. You can even do this entire class standing up. It's totally cool. Whatever works for you, works for me. Uh, I'm just going to sit on a block. I have a block underneath me, so I'm bringing the ground up to me. Uh, the only thing we got to focus on is keeping the spine straight. So just take a second, wherever you choose to go, wherever you choose to be, just take a moment, realign your spine, take a breath, breathe into your neck, breathe into your spine. Feel your breath moving all the way from the base of your spine to the top of your head. And then as you exhale, feel the breath moving all the way down. So maybe to about two or three more breaths like that. Inhale. Exhale. Calming the nervous system down. Taking a moment for you. Inhale. Exhale. One more just like that. Feel like the top of your head is reaching up as you inhale. Exhales, feel the bottom of your spine lengthening to the ground. All right. So hopefully your spine feels a bit longer, the back of the neck feels a little longer. And what we're going to do now is going to take our hands. You're going to turn your fingers to face each other. So your hands are just under your belly button and your fingers are facing each other and your hands are kind of like pressing two balloons down. So there's a bit of activation. And let's work on the hands before we move into the neck. So we roll the fingers as we point them outside. Then we roll it and we face them back. So just do this a few times. Notice what that feels like. You get a bit of a stretch in your hand. You get a bit of a stretch in your shoulders. Can you feel the shoulder blades opening up behind you? Can you feel the shoulders rotating in the sockets? And now we add the neck into it. So I'm going to turn to my left. So as I inhale, I turn, I look over my left shoulder, I come back, turning the fingers forward. I inhale, look over my right shoulder, exhale, come forward. As you notice, the stretches, I'm, I'm not holding the stretch. I'm just reaching a point till it feels good. And then I come back Add it to the side and I come back. And you can move with your breath, so inhale as you turn, exhale as you come back, inhale as you turn, exhale as you come back. Let's slow it down a bit, so make the inhale nice and deep. Exhale nice and deep. Inhale. Long exhale. Inhale. Last one, other side, inhale, exhale, and this time when I move to my right, we're going to hold, so inhale, and don't hold the breath, keep breathing, and just holding the stretch, notice if you have a bit more space in the neck, make sure the hands are active, the shoulder blades are turning, the chest is open, and then come back to center. And then inhale to the other side and hold. Keep breathing. A nice long exhale. A nice long inhale. Notice that there's more space in the neck on the opposite side. And then slowly come back. Feel the crown of your head reach long. Feel your hands pressing down. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Whew. Move the neck a little bit, not too much, 
Not too much, just a bit. Notice if we have a little more space. All right, we're going to do something else. We're going to take the stretch into a bit of a side stretch. So take your hands out, touch your fingers and your thumb, like you're making a bird's beak, like two bird's beaks, sorry, bird beak in each hand, and pull the tips of the fingers in towards your wrist. So there's a bit of a curve in your hand. As you can see, there's a bit of a curve in my hand. And as I do this, I push the back of my hands out. So I'm pushing the, this part specifically of the hands, like I'm pushing two walls away while pulling the boots beak inside. So basically that's the feeling. So you have a sense of pulling and a sense of pushing. And as once you find this, you can drop your chin to your chest and then roll over to one side. You're just going to do one side at a time. And as you roll back, and then you roll to where you started. So just focusing on one side, you can inhale as you roll back. Exhale as you come forward, keeping the tension at the hands. So you feel the hands pressing away as you roll, giving you a line of tension in the neck. Exhaling as you come down. Maybe two more each side, two more on this side before we switch. Last one, inhale, roll nice and slow. Exhale, come back. Drop the chin to chest, move to the opposite side. Press the opposite hand out and roll back as you inhale. Exhale as you roll forward. Inhale as you roll back, pressing the hand out. Exhale as you roll forward. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll forward. Two more. Inhale, roll back. Don't forget about the hand. Exhale, roll forward. Last time, deep inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll forward. Let go of the hands, you feel a nice little stretch in your hands. Stretch the shoulders, roll the shoulders. Move the neck nice and gently. Maybe you have more space. Maybe you can look side to side. Roll your shoulder blades, move around and notice how that feels. Ah, <sighs> last one, last stretch. And this will help open up another place in the neck. So hopefully it will give you one more thing to play with. Any of these stretches are a little intense, please stop. If they hurt, please stop. There's no need to do something that doesn't work for you. Listen to your body, listen to um, what it's telling you. So you can all you can always pause. If, if a stretch feels really nice, you can always pause the video. You can keep at it. You can do it longer than I'm currently doing it. Uh, and you can always come back to the video if something worked, do you want to you know, do it again? If you're having a tight neck, you can always come back and try it again. All right, so this one's called The Dragon Looks at Its Tail. So we take our hands, and it's kind of like we're looking at our hands, and we then turn the palms away, and you push the hands away as you turn the neck over your shoulder, and you're trying to look over your tail. So it's a very fluid exercise, so the hands come in, palms facing you, you inhale. Exhale as you push the hands away and you look back at your tail. Inhale, the hands come in. Exhale, pushing as so you feel a line of tension between the hands and the neck. Go at your own pace. This is an exploratory movement. You might notice every time there's a little more space that you're playing with as you exhale. The moment you reach your end point in the stretch, just let it go. You're not trying to stretch too deep. Just noticing if you can create a bit of space in the neck. Moving with the breath. Inhaling as you come in. Exhaling as you go out. Inhaling as you come in. Exhaling as you go out. And this time, hold, hold your stretch for a few breaths. Oh, can have an exhale out of your mouth. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. You could have done that in other stretches as well. The next time you're trying that. And then let it 
go, come back to the center. Very gentle, in and out of these stretches, very gently. Switch to the opposite side, so look at your palms, inhale. Exhale, look away, press hands away, look at your tail behind you. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now move with your own pace. Move with the breath that serves you. Exploring new space in the neck, and shoulders, finding a new space that works for you. Not pushing too much, just moving to a degree of stretch that you enjoy. And this time you're gonna hold, so inhale. Exhale, push. And just hold, notice if there's a little more, a little more real estate that you just found in your neck. Feel the line tension from your pinky in your fingertips, moving all the way down your hand and into your neck. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, oh, let it go, gently come out of it. Sit upright, feel the top of your head reaching out to the sky, feel a length in your tailbone. And maybe just roll your neck around just a little bit. Wild, keeping the top of the head Rolling up so that neck doesn't fall back. It's just rolling, it's rolling, it's rolling. Words are failing me right now. But you're just looking for a long line of tension and a bit of freedom. If you had any areas where that were a bit tight, just notice if you'd like to move into them and notice if the space is opened up. You might surprise yourself. You might feel a lot better after this. So, all right. So that's it. That's all I have for you today. I hope your neck and shoulders feel uh, much better after those few stretches. You can always come back and do them anytime. A lot of these stretches can be done in the office. It can be done at home. It can be done wherever you are, even when you're outside. Uh, so once you get familiar with the stretches and you feel that little bit of tension when you're you know pulling and stretching. It's something that you can use anytime, anywhere, and it's magic when it works out. So thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice with you. I hope uh, you have a pain-free day. So my name is Warren. Thanks for practicing. Have a wonderful day. Peace.